Hello everyone, in today's video we're diving into the fascinating world of woolly mammoths, their biology, their role in past ecosystems, and the big question, should we bring them back from extinction? We'll explore the potential benefits and challenges of reviving mammoths, the impact they could have on the environment, and what this means for conservation efforts. Plus, I'll share my own thoughts on this complex and controversial topic. Let's get started. Woolly mammoth, Mammuthus primigenius. The woolly mammoth was a large herbivorous mammal that roamed the northern regions of North America, Europe and Asia during the Pleistocene epoch, roughly 400,000 to 4,000 years ago. It is a close relative of the modern-day elephant belonging to the genus Mammothus and the family Elephantidae. Woolly mammoths were well adapted to cold environments. They had a thick coat of long, shaggy hair to protect against the freezing temperatures, along with a layer of fat beneath the skin for insulation. Their ears were smaller compared to modern elephants, which helped minimize heat loss. They stood about 10-13 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed between 4,000 and 6,000 kilograms. Mammoths had long, curved tusks that could grow up to 15 feet in length, which they likely used for foraging, fighting and display. Woolly mammoths were primarily grazers, feeding on grasses, shrubs and other vegetation in the cold steppe tundra regions. They adapted to life in the frigid environments of the Ice Age, thriving in open landscapes such as the Mammoth Steppe, which spanned from Europe to North America. Mammoths lived in herds, much like modern elephants. These herds were likely led by a matriarch, with strong family bonds formed between mothers and their young. They were social creatures that relied on their group for protection from predators and support in harsh environments. The woolly mammoth went extinct around 4,000 years ago, possibly due to a combination of climate change and overhunting by early human populations. The end of the last ice age led to warmer climates, which drastically reduced their habitat. As human populations expanded, mammoths were hunted for food, tools and other resources, further contributing to their decline. In recent years, there have been significant efforts to potentially bring back the woolly mammoth through de-extinction technologies. By extracting preserved mammoth DNA from well-preserved specimens found in permafrost, scientists aim to use genetic engineering and cloning techniques, possibly by inserting mammoth genes into modern elephants, to recreate the species. However, ethical and ecological concerns such as habitat, genetic diversity and ecological balance make the idea of reintroducing mammoths to the wild a subject of ongoing debate. Bringing mammoths back from extinction and reintroducing them into the wild could have a range of ecological and environmental benefits. Mammoths were once a keystone species in their ecosystems. By reintroducing them, we could help restore the balance of the ecosystems they once inhabited. Their return could lead to more stable and diverse habitats benefiting many other species that rely on the same environment. Mammoths were known to maintain grasslands and open tundra landscapes by browsing on trees and shrubs, preventing them from overgrowing and promoting the growth of grasses. This process, known as ecosystem engineering, could help reverse the encroachment of forests and help maintain the balance of steppe and tundra ecosystems. This could also benefit other species of herbivores that rely on these grasslands for food. Some researchers suggest that the reintroduction of mammoths could help combat climate change. By grazing on the tundra and keeping vegetation in check, mammoths could help preserve the permafrost. This is important because thawing permafrost releases large amounts of carbon dioxide and methane, two potent greenhouse gases. By restoring the steppe ecosystem, mammoths could potentially help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The efforts to bring mammoths back could lead to advancements in genetic engineering and reproductive technologies, which could be applied to other endangered or extinct species. The techniques developed could also help conserve existing species, particularly those at risk of extinction due to climate change or habitat loss. Reintroducing mammoths into their native habitats could restore vital ecological processes. As herbivores, they would once again graze on vegetation, keeping forests and shrubs in check and allowing grasslands to thrive. Their movement and foraging could also help spread seeds which would promote plant diversity and ecosystem regeneration. The presence of mammoths could support the survival of a wide variety of plant and animal species. By shaping the landscape, 
mammoths could provide more suitable habitats for other species that depend on open, grassy environments. For instance, species of birds, insects, and smaller herbivores could benefit from the availability of grasses and other plants in restored grasslands. Historically, mammoths had natural predators such as tigers, smilodons, saber-toothed cats, lions, hyenas, cougars, jaguars, and leopards, and wolves. If mammoths were reintroduced, there could be a cascade effect in which other predators, like lions and hyenas, might also be reintroduced, creating a more balanced and functional ecosystem. This could lead to a more diverse food chain and healthier predator-prey dynamics. The return of mammoths could spark interest in wildlife conservation and natural history. It could become a major ecological attraction, drawing people to study and experience these magnificent creatures in their natural habitats. This could lead to increased awareness of the importance of conserving biodiversity and supporting sustainability efforts. Mammoths in the wild could serve as a model for future restoration projects involving other species or ecosystems. Their success could pave the way for bringing back other species that have been lost and help people understand the importance of rewilding efforts. Where would they live? The Arctic is changing due to climate warming and finding large enough areas for mammoth herds is difficult. Would they survive? Modern predators are different and human activity, hunting, habitat loss could threaten their survival. Genetic diversity issues, a small starting population could lead to inbreeding, causing health issues. Conservation versus de-extinction. Some argue that we should focus on saving endangered species rather than reviving extinct ones. Bringing mammoths back could provide climate benefits, not ecosystem restoration and scientific advancements, but success depends on ethical considerations, habitat availability, and long-term sustainability. If done correctly, mammoths could become a key part of reviving Ice Age ecosystems and slowing climate change. If we can bring mammoths back from extinction, in my opinion, the idea of reviving mammoths is both fascinating and controversial. While it's an important topic worth discussing, it also comes with significant challenges. Here's why. First, the primary hurdle is that to create a mammoth, scientists need DNA. Fortunately, we do have some mammoth DNA, and according to researchers, it could be possible to bring mammoths back by 2027. However, these mammoths would likely be confined to zoos, elephant sanctuaries, or private collections rather than being released into the wild. Why? To establish a sustainable wild population, we'd need at least 100 genetically diverse individuals. Without this genetic diversity, inbreeding could lead to genetic disorders and early extinction. Another challenge is that the closest living relative to the mammoth is the Asian elephant. To recreate mammoths, scientists would need to use Asian elephants as surrogates. Currently, there are about 50,000 wild Asian elephants, down from 100,000 at the start of the 20th century. This shrinking population makes the process even more complicated. Many of these elephants would likely come from zoos or sanctuaries, given the long gestation period that is 18-22 months. Some scientists propose releasing female Asian elephants after being fertilized with mammoth DNA into the wild in regions like North America, Europe or Northern Asia. The idea is that these elephants would adapt to living in the wild and over time their offspring could help restore mammoth-like populations. However, this is a long-term project that could take decades or more. There are other significant hurdles to consider, like the availability of suitable habitat, and the potential threat of human hunting for sport or monetary gain. If we want to reintroduce them, a conservation status for mammoths must be established to ensure their protection and survival in the wild. But creating mammoths could harm the values of nature and wildlife conservation. Instead of focusing on protecting and restoring existing species and ecosystems, resources might be diverted to bringing back extinct animals, which could be seen as unnatural interference in evolution. It raises ethical questions about whether our efforts should be directed at saving endangered species rather than reviving long extinct ones. Another important question is, how will mammoths interact with other wildlife? 
including other herbivores and predators. In the past, mammoths coexisted with various predators such as tigers, smilodons, lions, hyenas, bears and wolves, cougars, jaguars and leopards. Today only tigers, cougars, jaguars, leopards, bears and wolves remain as potential predators unless in the future lions and hyenas return to the wild in those regions. Understanding these ecological relationships will be crucial if mammoths are ever reintroduced into the wild. What do I believe? I believe we need to do both release elephants into the wild in North America, Europe and Northern Asia, while also working on reviving mammoths. However, I don't see mammoths returning to the wild in the near future. So what do you think? Is bringing mammoths back worth the effort? Or should we focus on preserving existing elephants and their ecosystems instead or both? Bringing back the woolly mammoth is an exciting idea, but it comes with challenges. Could they really help restore ecosystems, slow climate change and bring back lost biodiversity? Or should we focus on protecting the endangered species that we already have? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you support mammoths roaming the wild again, or do you think this is a step too far? If you like the video and want to support the channel, you can use the super thanks below. It really helps me to continue creating content for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on wildlife, conservation and the future of our planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Rewilding Asian elephants in Central Asia and Caucasus.